I received a message the other day asking why I don't post medication breakdown videos anymore. So your wish is my command. Let's talk about oral glucose. Oral glucose has several brand names, but these are probably the most common ones that I see out in the field, especially glucose 15. Glucose 15 is very popular amongst fire departments and EMS services, but there's also Transcend. Oral glucose falls under the class of antihypoglycemic agents and carbohydrates. So we pretty much know what a carbohydrate is, but what does antihypoglycemic agent mean? So if it's anti, it's working against, right? And hypoglycemia is low blood sugar. So if it's working against low blood sugar, whatever we're about to administer is working to get that blood sugar up. But on the opposite end of the spectrum, if we were administering something like insulin, that would be an anti-hyperglycemic agent because it would be working against high blood sugar. So now that we know that, we pretty much know the indication for oral glucose, which is hypoglycemia, but there's some specifications. It's hypoglycemia on a conscious and alert patient that can follow commands because we can't be sticking oral glucose in the mouth of somebody who is unconscious or unable to follow commands because we could make them choke or they could even aspirate. How exactly does oral glucose work in the body? Well, we know that it's a PO medication, so just like its name, we know that it's given orally. So once it's absorbed into the GI tract, then it's going to be distributed amongst the tissues of the body and it brings the blood glucose levels up. As always, before we get into dosages, make sure you're abiding by your local protocol and staying within your scope of practice. But a typical dose of oral glucose could be around 12 to 25 grams. And the caveat about that is you may repeat as necessary. So both of these different brands of oral glucose carry 15 grams of glucose. So if we ended up giving our patient one of those and they were still symptomatic and they were still alert oriented and able to follow commands, we could give another one and it would equal up to 30. Some contraindications of oral glucose, an unconscious patient or a patient that is unable to protect their own airway, and also hyperglycemia and suspected intracranial hemorrhage. And some adverse reactions, in fact, a very common adverse reaction of getting oral glucose when you're hypoglycemic is nausea and a lot of times vomiting. As for drug interactions, just make sure you remember that oral glucose can be antagonized by anti-hyperglycemic agents like insulin. And then as a side note, remember to ensure that a BGL is low prior to administration. And then after you administer oral glucose, 10 minutes later, check a BGL again. And just know that these come in several different flavors. So a lot of times our patients say they're not super yummy, but they definitely bring sugar up.